Okay, Doc, I do believe we are live. No. Are you? No, you're no, live. No. Now we're recording. Okay, well. You get it. I know that loss to Bloomville last night has had you all kinds yeah, of Yeah, I put my stuff. brain up. But we are recording, which will be on whenever. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We don't well. know when. Welcome to another edition of the Reno and Doc Show. I'm Reno. He, this he's is Doc. Mr. He's Mr. Introduction. Hey, today. And I, I took it guy, for once. And I'm the guy holding a white sheet of paper with probably a episode that's going to be a kind of a common theme when you get some of the stories that we're reading. Yeah, uh, it's today. lovely. Some, quite a few stories in here are kind of, kind of uh, one and the same. And uh, when you see the title, you might understand. Am I smelling beer? I am too, but I ain't had no beer, so I don't know why I'm smelling it. I've been hearing a horn, and I, yet I go outside every time to check for see who's honking a horn, and I can't find nobody out there. Maybe it's a beer truck or something. Like, hey, which one of you guys drinks? Me. <laughs> I'm dropping off this truck. Drink it all. Shit, I'm going to be drunk. Yeah. Where's my brother? Come over here. <laughs> yeah, and we have another beer pong incident where something else in the house. Well, <laughs> the two of you fight. I'm going to record that. but like, okay, let's see what's going on here. <laughs> I don't know. We drink, and he'll probably go try to hunt drunk. <laughs> I'm gonna get me that deer. I'm gonna get. You wanna give me that deer? I plugged me a deer, bro. No, you didn't. That's you plugged a... me, motherfucker. <laughs> you hit me with that air hole. Okay, let me try again. I got one. Uh, that's one of those fake ones that you shoot at for target practice. I told you not to shoot at Sean, Ryder. Your cousin, Sean. Well, right. he'd be. Well, he'd be out. Drinking with you guys. Well, drinking, I can understand. Drinking, Sean, he sometimes hunts. Hey, you don't do it very often, but he will. Uh, he's gone hunting with me. We've gone squirrel hunting before. Did he wear anything weird for the occasion? No, that was one of the times we just went. We we went hunting, went, went squirrel hunting a little bit. Anyway, what do we got? Didn't yeah. come across any. Didn't cross. A, didn't come across a moose called Bullwinkle. And uh... okay, so we have a couple of uh, stories from outside the U.S. We have a local story, and the rest of them is just from just about everywhere else. An Austrian teenager sues her parents for posting embarrassing childhood pics of her on Facebook. That's so sad. It really is. I mean, I can't, I can't see how, how a kid thinks she's got a right to sue her, ma, sue her parents because well, they put a few embarrassing pictures of her when she was a kid. Look, you were a kid. Get over it, you big baby. She's 18, though. But that, that's were, the thing, that the thing is, though, is their parents are proud of her, and yet she's acting like a baby. Well, I mean, I mean, that's like my sister every once in a while will post childhood pictures of me on Facebook, and I'm like, hey, thanks, sis, appreciate it. I'm sorry, it. that's just, that's, that's cool, rotten and hateful. Well, I mean, the parents well, are showing they're proud of you, and you're being hateful about it by suing them. Well, it'd be, it'd be kind of stupid if your mom, you know, said, said, here's a picture of my oldest son at four years old and kicking a ball or something like that, and then you go, Mom, I'm suing! It's like, what's so bad about that? You're kicking a ball. You know? Who knows? Another one from outside the U.S. An Australian, and this is something that kind of happened here in Boonville some time ago. An Australian teen was reported missing, and when police asked for help and her whereabouts on Facebook, she responded by saying, "I'm in my room." Well, that's the difference. She was on to respond. The kid that it did in Boonville, he was in his room. He no one looking for him on Facebook. His parents finally were yelling, yelled, I guess, yelled in the house and woke him up. I guess he was asleep. Yeah. He finally come down and said, "I'm up here." <laughs> At least I assume that's where he was at. That's where everybody said they thought he was. Yeah. They found him. That's all I know. But this girl, you know, you'd think people would actually think to go look. Hey, go look in the room and see. Shit. Yeah. I don't know what can I say. I don't know. Four men were being held at a Northern California pot farm and were forced to work by the two women who owned the place. Slavery. Well, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, let's be honest. If they're being forced to work and they're being held there, it's technically a, a form of slavery. Either that or they were just too scared to try and knock them out and run. Maybe, or maybe they were too stoned to come up with the idea. It's like, hey, there's four of us, there's two of them. What do you guys I'm think? surprised Black Lives ain't Matter ain't, 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 yeah, ain't yelling about that. Slavery! Slavery again! I think they were all white, though. <laughs> I'd still be surprised if they would be like, yo, it's money for that slavery now. Okay. Fuckers, send, they were white. They weren't even black. I don't care. You owe us money for it. Send all hate comments to this channel down in the comments below. <laughs> they send a little money that way too. Now this one is kind of a sad story, but it kind of but it kind of ends on a happy ending. All right. A diabetic Dollar General cashier who was fired in 2014 for getting a two dollar drink 
won a case over Dollar General, and they must now give her around two hundred eighty thousand dollars. This happened, by the way, in Maryville, Tennessee. Well, see, the point of that story is, is the fact that she didn't actually steal the drink; she bought it, and they still fired her. I'm like, how the fuck can you fire someone? That, that ain't right. They, they deserve I mean, that loss. Yeah, that was I stupid. Mean, I mean, you know, she's a diabetic. She buys a two dollar drink, and they sit there and go like. You fired. I mean, when they go on lunch break, you're supposed to be allowed to buy your drink. Now, maybe she... But, hell, I've seen other Dollar General workers, like down here, they'll buy it while they're at work. You know, they'll yeah. sit there and buy it, they'll put it on the counter, and they'll, they'll drink it while they work. I mean, that's just yeah. so fucking stupid. I mean, I, I think we... I don't know who seen. runs that Dollar General, but you're a fucking idiot. Your sister-in-law. <laughs> Which one? Valerie. <coughs> <coughs> oh. Yeah, but that's not Tennessee. No, that's true. It's probably some of the idea. Sue her! We'll get some money out of her. <laughs> By the way, you owe us two hundred eighty thousand dollars. I ain't got that kind of money. You shouldn't have told us to sue. Not you should have told us to shouldn't have told us to fire her. This is kind of a weird thing I found this week. Metallica drummer Lars Ulrich admits he eats twenty pancakes a day. That's why he's fat. Well, you, you've I seen you've seen him recently. He's gained some weight. I haven't really seen him in a while. But, uh, I checked out one of the recent videos they've done. He's got he's gained some weight, he's losing a lot of hair too. <laughs> well, he's he's getting up there in age. I mean, Metallica's been around since the '80s. Well, some of them. I mean, like that that bassist, he ain't. Yeah, that. Uh, they seem like they've traded bassists what three, four times now. At least had one that died, and they had a guy Jason, and I don't know why he left. Jason Newstead. I don't know why he left, and they brought in this, I guess, Native American. That's in there now? He was in uh, Suicidal Tendencies. I don't I know what that remember, is. I can't remember I his, they, they were kind of a punk band. Okay, well, the guy that's in there now is a Native American with Metallica. Didn't they have another bassist, though? Uh, originally, they had Dave Mustaine. Which one was it that died? Cliff Burton. Okay, all right. There were four of them, though. Yeah. So not all of them been around since the 80s. Three of them have. The lead singer, the drummer, and the lead guitarist. James Hetfield, Lars Ulrich, and Kirk Hammond. Now, you, you remember all the names. I don't. Well, that's why I'm Doc the Metal Freak. <laughs> all right, what's up on the next one? Okay. But, but 20 pancakes a day. I, I can barely eat two. That's hungry. Like, how many can you eat in a day, do you think? Four, maybe. Four. And that's if I'm eating McDonald's ones. Like the small ones they make. Oh, you mean, you mean like little McGriddles they have with a pen? With a, with no, no, I mean like the regular pancakes they have, like they put with uh, oh. the uh, big breakfast, stuff like that. I could probably eat four of them a day and not, well, I could eat eight of them and not be hungry. But they're small. Well, well, big I'll, ones I could probably scruff down maybe two. Well, I love their McGriddles, you know, little, the little pancake things, the sausage in the middle. And Sometimes those are good. I don't mind them. I, don't I, mind them. I like them. I, I like how much. We're, we're getting off subject, sorry about that. And by the way, McDonald's... If, if you would send us free whatever we mentioned. Yeah, hey, we mentioned. And, and yes, we'll, we'll send we'll us a free food. Plug, we'll definitely plug the Boonville. Just don't let Tyler be the one to cuss it. <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely plug you guys anytime you want us to. Uh, if you send us free food, <laughs> and you don't have Tyler cooking it, Bl- plenty of Big Macs and chicken nuggets for me. Hell yeah, same here. Uh, David Ortiz, the Boston Red Sox, struck out at a recent game against the Orioles. So on his way back to the dugout. He argues with an umpire, then smashes the the uh, dugout phone with a bat. He got ejected afterwards. Well, he got what he deserved. I mean, that that that's happened for any player that goes and does something that stupid. Yeah, I mean that's I mean, that's, that's pretty. But I'm surprised they didn't look at him and go, "Well, you're just doing what Kaepernick's doing, so it's okay." I mean, really, he's just yeah. showing his ass. Send hate for, comments. <laughs> he's he's to, showing his ass for the media in the comments below. He went out there and bashed something. Showed his ass for the media, and I'm surprised and go out there and just tell him, like, oh, well, it's all right. You're starting something, so hopefully everybody else on other teams will follow it. Wow. I don't think we're going to get a rant video out of him about this, but... Well, I mean, I'm just being honest. No, I won't get a rant video on it, because, I mean, the guy got what he deserved, in my opinion. Well, he, he, he struck out during the game. It's his own fault. And then, and then he got mad, and he cussed out an out. Well, uh, he got into an argument with an umpire, and then smashed the got fun with his baseball. Well, no, well, destroying property, that's what got him in trouble. Yeah. And that's just stupid. Yeah. All right, what do we have next? Three Phoenix, Arizona police officers resign after forcing a man to eat his own marijuana. I don't even know what to explain on that one. I mean, I guess they thought the old boy needed to. He was probably hungry. They said, well, you got plenty of pot to eat. 
Hell, yeah, they might have been doing him a favor. He might have said, look, man, I really can't go to jail. And he'd be like, well, I'll tell you what, you eat that pot, you don't have to worry about it. We'll just say we never I've, saw it. I've, I've actually heard of, of stories like that, police officers doing that kind of thing, and then they just turn They do that occasionally like, because you'll have these big babies. You'll get arrested, and they'll be like, I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to get in trouble. And it's like, well, stupid, if you didn't have it in the first place, you would. And I mean, I know some states have legalized it. There's getting to be a lot of states following that. But, yeah. You know, for that case, you see them, they get busted for the states who don't legalize it or ain't legalized it yet. They're sitting there going, oh, I won't go to jail. It's your fault for having it. And so some cop wants to feel sorry for him, says, well, eat it and we'll forget it. Or, or give us some. We won't tell anybody. And That's we'll your ones that are crooked. Yeah. Kind of like Lonnie Whitehead. <laughs> Never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> So, here we go again. Several children at a Salt Lake City Elementary School were sent to the hospital after eating marijuana lace brownies brought in by a little girl from home. Her parents sent some shit. As you can bet, DHS, CPS, whatever they're called, and whatever, what state was it? Uh, I believe it was Salt Lake City, Utah. Hey, you can bet whoever it is, her parents are in some serious shit. Oh, yeah. Or her brother, or whoever it was, it made them. Because, I mean, you can have an older brother or sister who made them. But whoever it was is going to be in a lot of trouble. Mm-hmm. All right, what else do we have, Doc? We're slowly running out of time. And uh, local news, a Crawford County inmate steals a sheriff's car and then crashes it on the Interstate Highway 40 between Van Buren and Alma. That's what he gets for trying to run. These people ought to learn, if you see these shows, these high-speed chases and everything else, that you take off in a car trying to run, it's only natural that you're nine chances out of ten, you're either going to get caught or you're going to get, or you're going to wreck. I mean, it's duh, one or the other. And you're still in the police unit. I mean, if they're going to be able to find you, they can track their own damn car. How stupid is that? Yeah. All right, well, that's it for me. Is that well, what it is? Uh, well, Facebook face palm of the week real quick. This one is confusing as crap. <laughs> oh, Starburst, where are you, Starburst? I'm so mad at Twizzlers, Twist and Peel. That rhyme came from Little Debbie. That's her new rap song. If you ain't heard of her, don't worry about it. You're better off not knowing her. So I... Well, it's somebody posted on, on Facebook, and I, I thought maybe somebody was like, you know, kind of... Another white girl thinks she's a rapper. I guess. So she posted that as her new song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who did it. Sounds weird, but hey, they can give it to her and say, hey, make a song out of it. Yeah, yeah. Sounds oh, about oh, as good oh, as she Snickers, sounds. Oh, Snickers, where for the Snickers? Beat out white girl some, rapper. But I'll take some peanut butter All right, well, peace out, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe see to you both guys next me time. and Dr. Metal Freak. And we'll see you guys next time.